um, currently lives in Jackson, uh, Mississippi. Yeah. Let's see. I think I've just seen him at Midwest events. Possibly. So. Um, so Justin's deck actually has a bit of a treasure mage tutor package here, and his targets are Blightsteel Colossus, Worm Coil Engine, Platinum Imperion, Mirror Battlesphere, and Thopter Assembly. What do you think of that last one? Thopter Assembly is a really weird card. Ooh, we got a, wait a second, we've got a, a Gataxian Probe showing two Quicksilver Amulets, four land, and an Elish Norn. So theoretically, we could see Elish Norn on the table on turn five. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Thopter Assembly gums up the board really well, so mm -hmm. long as it doesn't get vapor snaked. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of mana. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things in this deck that don't really like Vapor Snag. He does have the Phantasmal Bear, uh, Bear, Lord of the Unreal sort of set up here. So he's got Bears, Lords, Images, Grand Architects, Treasure Mage, and... Delver shows a Vapor Snag. Oh, the old natural Delver on two? This game's going to get a, a little bit rough, probably. Attack for three in the air. Yep. When it comes to quick answers to Delver... Justin's only way to deal with that quickly is to Quicksilver Amulet a Elish Norn into play. He's got two Oblivion Rings, but I, I don't know if that's enough. Oh, I didn't even see those Oblivion Rings. Thank you. Taxian Probe reveals four lands and the same. So Justin's dropping to 17 on turn two here on the draw, so that's not the best setup. And a second Delver for Jarek. Uh, Jarek just is short white mana, but has a Dark Slick Shores up. Um, Justin looks like he has a Phantasmal Bear to drop this turn off an island. But that may or may not save him any damage here. And Jarek doesn't even bother to try to. Another oh, Vapor Another snag. Vapor Snag. I was going to oh. say, he doesn't even bother to kill it off because he wants to see if he has to bother. Yeah, I mean, do, the old 1-2 Delver flips. This is, uh, this is not boom. going to end well. 11 for Justin Pierce. Justin, at this point, absolutely, I think the only way into this game is and an I Oblivion Ring. And on three off of planes. Oh. oh. That is actually facing down lethal, given those Vapor Snags this turn. Uh, O-Ring or no ring? That looks like his hand is lands Quicksilver Elishorn. And that oh. is that's attack with the bear? Wow. Uh, I like I like uh, not attacking with the bear there, even though the bear yeah. is dead to the snag. Like, make it happen. Oh, and a pass. Yeah, that is his hand is two vapor snags and he has twelve damage on board. This this is probably just the turn four kill. Okay, do we scoop? Um I will scoop. Yeah, okay. and that's game. <laughs> okay, game two. <laughs> so he knows what he's playing against here. He's gonna bring in three ratchet bombs with a quickness. Uh, and yeah, that kills Delver, yeah. kills kills lingering souls. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ratchet Bomb is one of the best weapons you can have against the Delver decks, just because even if they don't have a flipped Delver, you want a fast possible removal spell that For you can get do. down before they mana yeah. leak. It can also sort of stall a Geist of Saint Trap, right. killing an Angel. This this deck also has a lot, this big jump from, you know, oh, well, I have one drops and three drops. So right. Ratchet Bomb kind of helps with these clumps. Um, I don't, maybe you want some number of dismembers to prevent the double Drog Skull Captain from setting up. Um, but Jarek, uh, I guess Justin should know by the Dark Slick Shores that he's probably on the Spirit List. So I might want some dismembers here. Um, I don't think I want Negate against this deck, but... I actually, I actually kind of like Negate over a Mana Leak. And the... Well, he doesn't have a big spell to cast besides Quicksilver yeah. Amulet. I think, I think um, he needs the Mana Leaks to beat Dungeon Geist and Draw Skull Captains and Geist. Um, I, I really I actually like Mana Leak against the uh, Spirit deck because they're so heavy on threes and fours. Okay, what do we have on the uh, the other deck is going to do what? Well, he's got Surgical Extraction, which I don't think he wants. What did he see? He saw that he's playing against a Quicksilver Amulet deck, right? With so, with uh, Phantasm there. So perhaps... God, what would you think when you saw that? Because those are... Probably Divine... I, I'd probably want Dungeon Geist. Divine Offering divine makes offering, sense. Revoke, revoke Existence. I definitely want Dissipate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't want Celestial Purge. Probably don't want Angelic Destiny because I saw Bear. Yeah. That That's just, like, the Bear kind of signals to me that he probably has... I, every time I'd see a Phantasmal River from a deck, I'd expect Vapor Snack, even though he just doesn't have it. He might have, like, Oblivion Ring or something. So I think what I like is Dissipate, Divine Offering, Revoke Existence, and Dungeon Geists. I think that that's what maybe I Maybe like. Negate as well. Maybe Negate. Maybe Negate. And then maybe, what we, what do we it, don't like. Maybe not the Sword of Body and Mind? Sword of Body and Mind's on the border here. Eh, probably not. I don't enough. like it so much. What, what don't we like in the main? I mean, uh... I like uh, Image because Image, if you're playing this Quicksilver Amulet, it's likely that there's a possible legend that might come into play. And Kill I, the Legend is I just, just fine. like 
his main looks very solid. The only thing I might consider is not having Geist the same trap if my opponent showed that he's on Phantasmal Bears to deal with it, but I don't... I, don't I mean, you're right. He, uh, Jarek is really well set up here. He could just board out some... Uh, let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He might be able to get away with cheating, like, you know, boarding out of Gitaxian Pro of 2 and effectively cheating on your pseudo mana counts, you know. 22 out of 56 instead of uh, versus like 22 out of 58. It's not huge. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I might board out some Gitaxian probes. Uh, especially if you're boarding in other spells for Delver. You know, I really like Gitaxian probe though when you're not in a position to be beaten down. Um, it's just a free roll, really. Though to be fair, uh, seeing a what's it called? Uh, seeing a phantasmal bear does yeah. maybe mean that you could get beaten down. So yep. that on the subject, turn one phantasmal bear for Justin to Jarek's nothing, just a glacial fortress. Are we gonna see a lord? Yep. An unreal lord. That is a lord of the unreal, and oh. this is the beatdown plan. <laughs> right. So Justin's deck, I think, is a little schizophrenic. Um, it's got <laughs> this this quicksilver plan too. But otherwise, it has a bear, it's, lord, it's, architect, it's, treasure mage, phantasmal image opener. It's kind of a plan three. Yeah. So imagine right now, if you are Justin and you have a phantasmal image in hand, or a grand architect and a land for it, just a lot of damage. Yeah. The architect's actually a pretty good lord. I love architect. He's, uh, he's, I, he's really, really powerful, I think. I think the card's really powerful. I actually just hate the card, though. <laughs> uh, fair, fair. Uh, I was surprised when I saw it was a rare. Really? It just does everything. Like, it, there's too many things that it does. So Jarek just uh, double ponders this turn off a of Sea Chrome Coast to follow up his Glacial Fortress. Probably just digging for something to do against this really aggressive start That's a here. really powerful start. And shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Which for uh, for Justin is a good sign. Yeah. yeah. What, whenever they're ponder shuffles or they're preordained ships to, you know, that's a really good sign. That means they didn't find what they want. You know, it's the exact opposite of what you think. You'd be like, oh man, they're shuffling away. They would have all these dead draws. No, that means they don't have good cards on top necessarily. Yeah. Now, uh, for those of you who are just joining us, this is round three. I'm Adrian Sullivan in the booth with Ari Lax. On our left, Jarek Shields playing a kind of a old again, new again mix of Delver, uh, mixing the mm. old Delver blue-white lists with kind of the new, we'll say, uh, Team Mythic Finkel style list yeah. that was designed primarily by Sam Black with some help from, I believe, Jerry Thompson and others. Right. Justin Pierce is playing a Illusions list, but it's not a pure Illusions beatdown. It's a Illusions list with a Quicksilver Amulet backup plan. Off of Grand Architect. And Justin had led on Bear Lord this game, turn three. Land ponders up into a phantasmal image on his uh, just lord. Just as we talked about a moment yeah. ago. Now, phantasmal image on Lord of the Unreal is so sick. Yeah, the lord is one of the very few lords that doesn't say other because it itself isn't an illusion. That's right. But when you image it, the image pumps itself. So that is a 4-4 hexproof phantasmal image. That's to go right. with that 4-4 hexproof bear and the, I guess, just the 2-2 lord. Yeah. So that was... Uh, Pretty big swing there, bringing Jarek down to 11. Now, pretend you're Jarek. You saw the Phantasmal Bear game one, but it looked like you were playing against a Quicksilver Amulet duck, and you're yeah. like, wow. It's a Drog Skull Captain for Jarek. Which is just... Pseudo Lord of the Unreal. Yeah, which but. is basically just either going to keep the little real Lord out from the combat, or yeah. just going to get run over. I mean, yeah. if you're Justin, you can just march on in there if you want, or if you really want to protect your guys, hold your Lord back. Uh... Let's see. I, you might want to just accept. Let's see. I might just. No, you with don't everybody. want to trade anthem for anthem. You're, you're ahead on anthems. Um, I mean, but your opponent can't just take ten and go to one. I would just go yeah. in and let him trade anthem for anthem, and then put my opponent down to. I believe it would be uh, three. I mean, he's not going to chump block, right? Yeah, that's true. I, he could be like the Matt Costa list with. So there's a treasure, treasure mage, mage to to fit with the theme. It's going to find a. Uh, Six plus drop artifact to go with this uh, Illusions beatdown. Probably Worm Coil Engine, maybe uh, Thopter Assembly. Yeah, those are the two realistic options here. I don't think he's going to find uh, Blight Seal Colossus or something anytime soon. He pauses on the Worm Coil Engine, moves it to the front. I'm actually surprised Justin doesn't have like a Contagion Engine in his deck. That's something that uh, I know a lot of people playing 
uh, the architect Heartless deck had uh, talked about, but. He's looking at maybe casting Battlesphere several turns down the line. I think that's a little bit. Uh, a little bit over the top. Yeah, I mean. Th there's not that many. There we go. Game. Worm Coil Engine. Yeah. That seems reasonable. I think the reason for Battlesphere might be that you're trying to dodge Vapor Snag, but it's. If he didn't have a Vapor Snag before, he's not going to have it now. Yeah. I mean, look at all that damage. Mm hmm. That is uh, two four fours with Hexproof and a couple of two twos. Moreland Haunt for Jarek. The Lingering Souls trying to stem the bleeding here. It's a couple of uh, flying 2-2s, two but okay, these are a, our 4-4s here. I've got a question for you. So you get just decimated this game by your opponent's uh, Blue Illusions build. Not necessarily expecting such an aggressive start, right? Do you go back to your sideboard and bring in Sword of Body in mind? Is that a card you'd bring in? Do you, like, what do you re... Um, Maybe. configure for this. I don't know. Is, is Body and Mind even good against this kind of start? It, it doesn't seem like a Body Not and Mind Not good against this start, right? But if, if Justin also has... Sorry, if Jared... Jarek, pardon me, also has his own creatures to trade, it can, sure. like, make the mid-game be a game where you can take over. Possibly, but I, I think in the mid-game, this, this other deck's just going to slam an Hellish and kill you. So I don't, I don't think that's where you want to fight. What do we got there? O-Ring? A Living Ring on this Drog Skull Captain, and that's probably... Well, that's a lethal attack for sure. Um... Let's see, unless he has a he has to have vapor snag for one of the two twos, or that is game. Let's see. Even here. if he has the vapor snag, there's so much that's going yeah. on that it's just really bad for him. Vapor snag the lord and down to three threes, which means he still has to block two of them. Yeah, he's still got a chump. Still getting abyss and uh is he just there we go. Yep. Forced, down to two life. And forced chump block. And Justin just gets to slam this Lord of the Unreal right back down. He's got two cards in hand. It looks like uh, the Six Land and the Worm Coil Engine. Right. <laughs> just in time. Gonna kill him right before you can cast that one. Let's see here. I don't think there's actually an out in Jarek's deck to this. And he packs it on up for game three. Yep. Justin did not do something like uh, attack anyone physically to get DQ'd. <laughs> yeah. so. There's always the DQ out, right? <laughs> right. Um, um, didn't have a, didn't have a day of judgment. Um, you know, some of these lists. I know Matt Costa when he copied the Pro Tour had day of judgment in his sideboard, which he remarked after the event he never actually got to cast. But you that's know, good. It, it could knowing. be a thing. But I I don't know. Okay, so we're Jarek. For the sake of argument, what do we think about for our sideboard now? Is Ratchet Bomb good against this? Uh, it might be. He's, it's only a one of, but I mean, maybe a better question to start with is what's not so good? Uh, I mean, after that start, I might be a little hesitant to keep in Divine Offerings and Revoke Existence. Like, yeah, because you don't want to rot yeah, with that. Yeah, exactly. Um, I might bring in just the Divine. Well, the Revoke would, would, would free up your O Ringed. Thing. Well, Revoke kills. He saw two things he wants to revoke. He saw Worm Quill Engine and Oblivion Ring. I think he wants to revoke, yeah, the revoke or the Divine Offering if ever. Like, gaining life isn't that relevant if your opponent's big game that time is Mega Elishnorn. Uh, and it, the instant speed's not actually that relevant either because if they're going to Quicksilver Ram, like, they're just going to Quicksilver you. Um, I, I think I would have. Tell me what you think of this. Revoke, after board, Revoke, <clears throat> Divine Offering, Dungeon Geists. Yeah. Um, and then. I would consider three cards besides that. I would consider Ratchet Bomb, I would consider Sword of Body and Mind, and I would still consider Dissipate. I would probably stick, especially on the play, I'd stick with the Dissipate. I think I'd just stick with what I've ordered before and maybe take the Divine Offering back out. Maybe. But, yeah, especially on the play where you can mana leak down um, an amulet pretty easily. I, I think he just keeps what he has. Um, looking at this, did the... Uh, did the uh, Finkel House deck have Oblivion Ring in it? I'll have to check. Yeah. I know some of the list did. I, I don't remember that specific list exactly off the top of my head. For the most part, um, one of the things, most of the people from uh, Mythic House ran between 73 and 75 card copies. So They had a main deck revoke existence. That's what it, was it was one main deck revoke, one yeah, main deck to that's what offering. I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like so they was, they already had these cards in the main, and uh, there were no oblivion rings in the board. 
There's also no gut shots in uh, Jarek's deck, which is probably the right choice, but just kind of interesting. Uh, Jarek on the play. It looks like Justin is considering a hand. Um, I can see Lord of the Unreal. Okay, Jarek there we go. turn one Delver if, off a Dark Slick Shores. If history is any guide, he will immediately <laughs> flip this without any help. Yeah, it's about one out of three, probably. Delver does uh, not flip. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that makes the game interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, Evolving Ooh, Wilds pass, so there's no ponder. <clears throat> His uh, only cards he might have any action with would be, in in this coming turn, would be Vapor Snag. Yeah. So, uh, let's see what Justin does. Looks turn like Justin's two. hand is, uh, is that is it a Mana Leak? Yeah, that's one of his three Mana Leaks. It looks like Justin's hand is a bit of a traditional... It's just, just a bit of everything. He's got a, a Lord of the Unreal, a Treasure Mage, a Mana Leak, and an Elish Noid, it looks like. <laughs> Lord comes down, and we see a uh, fetch. Probably yeah. gonna get a plains. plains. Yeah. Could be an island if he has like a double blue in his hand, and he's already got white. Um, Could be looking for an island for a glacial uh, fortress. Right. There's the plains. All three colors of mana available for Jarek. Evolving Wild, such a great addition to this format. Yeah. I am so happy that it was uh, reprinted, even though I, I do find it. Um, Flavor-wise, I'm not sure if it's such a horrific card. Mm -hmm. Flavor-wise, talking just about uh, you know <laughs> well, dark are... ascension. Is this a scary-sounding card? It's kind of a generic. Wise? Oh, Ooh, there's that. There we go. Flip. Natural, natural. Here we go. Ponder a card that just really ties the room together. <laughs> yeah, that that card. Uh... This is a little bit of everything. Delver gets in there for three, Justin dropping to 16 on this attack. I'm not sure how many human insects there are out there in the world, but that is certainly a human insect. Lingering souls for Jarek with the black <clears throat> mana in play to flash it back next turn. Uh, Justin's gonna drop a Glacial Fortress as his third land. Looks like he has the option of, well, let's see, we know he has Treasure Mage. If he had a uh, Grand Architect, he could actually cast a Quicksilver Amulet if he had that as well. Yeah, that would be a, a scary start. That would be a sweet start. turn. Yes. To match this Delver flip. Clearly does not have it. Tax. Offers up the uh, trade of two spirits for the Lord, and looks like Jarek is probably going to take the damage. He's definitely the aggressor here. And uh, Justin's just going to pass the turn with Mana Leak up here, it looks like. That's not very exciting for Justin, I would say. Taking five on this A swing lot from of the damage. Spirits and the Delver. Yeah, down to 11. Very dead, very fast. Ponder. Yep. How do you feel about the decision with decks like Jarek's? As we saw at Pro Tour, to, to reduce to mana leaks of uh, just such a small number of counter spells. I, I mean, I think it's fine, especially, well, at that event it was fine. Um, people were moving away from Titans and more towards things that you wanted to interact with on an axis that wasn't mana leak. So it was probably very reasonable at the time. People are moving back to Titans now, and there's a lot of weird Umbero rights decks going around. So I think mana leaks is. Really well positioned right now. I agree. Jarek opted to shuffle. I, I should say I like Mana Leak in uh, aggro control decks right. or in you know decks like this, not as much in yeah. uh, controlling decks. Yeah. Ponder? Oh, Jarek Phantasmal. Just what it looks like is Mana Leak up. Uh, Phantasmal better to go with this Lord of the Unreal. Which... Sadly, the bear is just a beater. He can't fight with anybody. Everyone else is in the air on the other side yeah. of the table. And uh, yeah, just the Lord shipping in for another two. Take five. Justin going down to six on this attack. The Jarek's pretty healthy, 16. Both players have five power on board, but Jarek's all fly. Jarek plays Jarek land. He can now flashback Lingering Souls with mana up. He chooses not to, probably representing a Snapcast for Mage. Let's see, Justin has... We're at a position where a Vapor Snag <clears throat> can potentially kill Justin. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Uh, Justin only has just the Bear and the Lord, and he's still even... A bit too far away from Elishorn to consider. Grand Architect? Him. Treasure Mage, probably, right? Maybe. That is an O-ring. Ring. And Jerk says okay. Wow. Yeah. That actually just reduced the clock yeah. by a great amount. Now In Justin is... For five. Yeah. Jerk drops to 11, and Justin is still at, you know, six to two damage a turn. 11, four, six, two. <coughs> Justin's well within reach of uh, winning this race here. Jarek's going to flash back his Lingering Souls. Uh, I guess he does have Mana Leak up, so maybe a little preemptive on that winning the race comment. 
And if, if Justin has uh, <clears throat> any reasonable spell in hand, I would have definitely cast that Man Leak yeah. just to like tap Jarek down. Oh, there's another oh, layer of souls. Oh boy, that is, that is there we go, Man Leaked. Jarek with four flyers in, or four spirits in play representing lethal power. Justin needs to do something dramatic off. right now. He is one mana short of Elishnorn. Six lanes in play, five power on Does he board. have anything he can do? I don't think so. His hand is Land Treasure Mage, and that looks like uh, I think that's it. I think that looks that, like a rat. Yeah, to quote Zach Hill, that is. <laughs> Pretty much what has to happen here is uh, Justin's attack has to be blocked by mm -hmm. Jarek. And I don't think Jarek's going to do it. <laughs> oh, there's an Elder Sworn in too? Yeah, just ship in with the guys and see what happens. Yep, attack. In fact, what would have been way better for Justin is if he had just gone like this. Draw, attack. Snap attack. Yes. And uh, right well, now we, have, we, we see the element of poker here. A I little think. bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit of that maybe I should have been thinking on his turn what my lines were as opposed to on my turn. Yeah. Because, I mean, I see that line of play, and I wouldn't need to look at Justin's hand to think this. Yes. Um, either he doesn't have it or he probably doesn't have it. Let's Whereas see. if a snap attack, I might think he has something. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, if Justin gets another turn, you might be able to Elishnorn his way out of this. But uh, Jarek just took, and that looks... That's it. Yeah. Unless uh, unless Jarek does something <clears throat> foolish. Yeah. Like physically fighting someone, as we were talking about yeah. earlier. <laughs> and Jarek's like, sure, sure. Probably going to get a, a Warm Coil engine that is never getting cast. Why not get something really big? You're not going to cast it. Blightsteel Colossus. Get a Blightsteel. Go, go big or go home, okay? <laughs> nah, Worm Coil Engine's probably the right choice in case something Yeah, Worm Coil is the right, can, right thing to get. Uh, look at that. The glum face from Justin, which says, I am defeated. I am dead. Jarek checking. And yep. there we go. That's, that's match. Some very quick uh, Delver beatdown style games. Even though one of these decks was not quite such the beatdown deck. Just uh, Bears and Lords showing up game two for Justin, but uh, game three and one, Delver flipping proved to be a right. little bit too much against this yeah. Grand Architect Quicksilver angle. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if Justin had uh, drawn a Grand Architect at some point in the game a little earlier, I think it could have been a, uh, well, not with his draw. Right. His draw, it wouldn't help out. But I mean, I am imagining this list, right, where you go, let's pretend turn one Phantasmal Bear, turn two, maybe an image, maybe a Lord, maybe yeah. something like that, and then turn three Grand Architect. That's six mana towards, you know, artifacts. You could just drop Worm Quail. If you don't just beat down yeah, for, that, that is that's seven, a lot of damage. That is seven power yeah. attacking on turn three. If Absolutely. You that. that puts them to 10 on turn right. three, and they're facing down Eight power on board there, you know, that's very...